No, I haven't. I haven't been waiting too long. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, no, 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 don't apologize. You didn't keep me waiting at all. Welcome back. Yes, I must say the office was just not the same without you. Yes, a lot has happened, hasn't it? Did you, did you want to, uh, to tell me about it? Mm. I understand it was perhaps not a trip that you want to talk about. Okay. Well, I have prepared my own agenda for the things that I need to run through with you in this meeting. So we could just do that. Okay. So I have your uh, diary, your grimoire. So let me just find where I've noted everything down. There is a lot to get through. Yes, yes, I'm sorry to do this to you on your first day back. Oh, the, the refurbishments, yes. Uh, yes, the staff have been very happy with it. Yes, so we carried out all of the suggestions that you made before you left. And we have done all the renovations as you saw. Yes. I really am pleased with the scheme that you chose. I will say there has been one little complication so far, which is that all of the animal prints and any items which had an animal print on them, like the zebras uh, and the newts, on the full moon we have discovered they actually to become enchanted and they rise off the fabric and actually go wandering around the office. Mm. Yes, so for people who are not afraid of animals, um, it's not a big problem, but of course not everybody in the office feels that way. So actually, I did have an agenda item about this because I have done some research into how we can mitigate this problem and I discovered that we could probably afford to put in uh, a stable for the zebras when they get out and we just need an aquarium for the new so, if you think that would be a good idea. Okay. And the other thing that I was thinking was, if we're going to have wild animals around, perhaps we should keep some sort of wildlife keeper on retainer. Yes. Well, actually, I have already researched that as well and I found that there is actually a keeper at a local zoo who I think would be amenable to our sort of staff requirements. So I found a profile of him in this um, local uh, newsletter. Let me just find where he was in here. Okay. 
Yes, I do. I do enjoy moving at a glacial pace. Mm. I'm so glad you like it. Ah, here it is. So, this is the uh, profile on him, just here. So I'll leave that with you to read. Okay, and if you are happy with that, we can do the necessary indoctrinations. Great. Now I need to give you your mail. Just three letters. I know, I don't, I don't understand why anybody uses paper mail anymore. So it looks as though you have a letter here from the blood bank. Uh, and here is your wine and spirits subscription and uh, this one is I think an invitation but of course I definitely did not hold those over a kettle to steam them open and then reseal them that's not something I would ever do of course Now speaking of that invitation and your mail, we do have a number of other invitations to look at. So I will just um, have a look at your schedule here. Hmm. So it looks like you have been invited to the state dinner on the 6th of next month. They sent through an email, actually, so I don't know why they would bother sending that paper invitation in the mail. Not that I would know what was in any of those envelopes, of course. So, if you do want to go to that, they have sent through a little form for you to fill out your dietary requirements. They do know that mortals and immortals have different requirements in their diets. So if you do want to attend, I'll just fill that out as usual for you. So that's a yes. Okay. Now the other big thing in the schedule, and I'm sorry we have to talk about this, is the uh, Council of Elders does want to meet with you on the 13th of this month, and it is in relation to the incident, yes. Yeah, they, uh, they intimated that they are a little concerned about how it would affect the profile of others of your kind. I know, we all know that it wasn't your fault. When a wand is accidentally discharged, anybody could get in trouble, anybody could get hurt. It's just such a shame that it was all those puppies and kittens. I know. But obviously, for immortals like you, people are always going to think that there was something intentional about it. So I think the Council of Elders just wants to clear up any confusion about that. Yes. Yes, I do think that we are obliged to go to that one, so I'll RSVP a yes. Now, on that subject, your press secretary has instructed me to brief you on a few things today. So there has been, unfortunately, some negative press surrounding the incident. 
so he didn't want you to see everything obviously that's not necessary but I have a couple of clippings to show you yes I have the papers here Just a small one here, if you want to just take that. I don't advise that you read it right now. Mm -mm. And weirdly enough, in this women's magazine, Just this one at the bottom here. Yes, he seemed to think those were quite indicative of the overall tone in the press after the incident. Mm. Yes. So he also asked me to talk to you about something perhaps a little delicate. But we think that it will help you with this situation. And that is that beings like yourself, sometimes, sometimes the public is not positively disposed towards you just naturally, as a matter of course, simply because you um, present very differently to mortals. Mm -hmm. So your press secretary has advised that perhaps it might be a good idea to take on some instruction in um, deportment, um, your bearing, your speech, your presentation, etiquette, manners, that sort of thing. I know, I know it seems such a tedious subject, but when they were telling me that I needed to broach this with you, I was skeptical too, but they gave me this uh, book, just here. So there is an etiquette specialist who has, uh, she's written this book, and she is actually, uh, for a price, able to come and conduct personalized um, sessions. Well, she suggested that I go through the particular topics in her book with you and pick out which ones seem the most relevant to your situation. So there is general etiquette, there is um, standing, sitting and walking, there is, um, well, there's no getting around this, how to look better than nature intended. So, you know, makeup, skin, hair, nails, scales, that sort of thing. There's fashion and accessorizing. And also um, how to tailor your outfit to the occasion.
There is, of course, speech, conversation, public speaking, that sort of thing. A whole section on greeting people, introductions, forms of address. Um, there's a section here, it's called Telephone. I don't know what a telephone is. Correspondence we can look into, the way that you um, conduct invitations, um, personal correspondence, business letters, casual, uh, informal correspondence. There are um, some instructions on dating. Dining out and things like table manners and how to behave in a restaurant. Drinking. Uh, games and sports. Sportsmanship. House guesting. So how to be a good host and also how to be a good guest. And then there's some nonsense in here about engagements and weddings. We thought that perhaps an overview in uh, mortal etiquette and manners would be a good one to schedule you in for. We thought also a personal style and fashion consultation could be helpful. Yeah. Yes, if you would dress like humans your age, that would be helpful to us all. And I think perhaps separately or combined, just a little bit of guidance on greeting people and moving around in public, conducting yourself in public spaces, that sort of thing. Uh, no, I, I had no additions to this. I think that those would pretty much cover it. And if you could address the uh, drinking, that would be a good idea too, yes. Probably won't have so many wand-related mishaps. Yes. I'll add that one in. Well, that's everything that I had to bring to you. Now, what have you got for me to do? Yes, I totally understand. It's, it's all a bit too much, isn't it? Yes. Well, perhaps you should just go and work your way through your correspondence. I will close the door and put the sign on and uh, I will go and fix you a very stiff drink and I will let everyone know what sort of mood you're in today. Oh, you're most welcome. It's an absolute pleasure for me to help you out. and. Uh, just as a little treat, later on today I have booked for you a manicure just for a little pampering, just to make you feel a little better. Yeah. Well, I'll let you get back to it. You just sing out if you need anything at all. <laughs>